Hey everyone, welcome back to another interesting video. So in this video, we'll be solving a React machine coding question or a super fun mini project we can say. So we are going to build an app where every time we click on this add button, a progress bar appears on screen and it starts filling up smoothly. Each one finishes exactly in two seconds. Let's build it. Let's jump into the code now. I am starting with the basic React setup and I am using Stack Blitz for it. You can use Create React App or Vite. Totally up to you. Let's begin. So this is a simple setup. We have a source folder and we have a app.tsx inside this. Cool. Now what we are going to do, we can simply remove this. We don't need this. Inside this also, we are going to remove. We are going to remove this and app.css. We don't need any such thing. Now let's start from scratch. So simple const app. So we have quickly created a simple function and basically a function component and it is going to return a div, a simple div for the start. Let's simply give it a progress bar. Let's see if it's working or not. Cool. So this is a simple functional component that we have done. Now let's code it step by step. As we can see, we have this simple add button over here. So we are going to first create this add button and similarly step by step we are going to move ahead with our functionality so for that let's quickly give this a class name of wrapper now inside this create a div not much styling is needed just as much uh, it should look good okay so we are going to simply have a simple button over here we can have on click and we can give it like a function add progress bar something like this now in here let's create this function so now what this function is going to do it is going to increase the basically add the number of progress bar so to handle that let's add the state let's give it the initial value of zero now inside this simply increment it cool now what else now we have created our add button we have added the functionality as well now let's create the ui for progress bar so first i'm going to create a section for this uh, bars that will be class name of bars now inside this what i'm going to do is simply run a loop okay so we don't have initially array we have like total number of bars so that's why we are creating one array so that we can loop over it now here comes the progress bar so let's create the progress bar what we can do we can create a folder like components inside this let's create progress bar dot tsx and progress bar dot css okay tsx and css now quickly i am going to copy it paste it and i will remove basically all these things and use the boilerplate yeah and now simply change the name progress bar and over here as well so let's create a simple ui the class name of bar give one more div that will be class name of bar inner something like this cool now let's first add the css and add the progress bar till here inside this app.tsx so we can simply add this progress bar pass key as index index as key something like this and what else yeah now let's quickly add the css as well let's do the body first one thing we need to import it like import dot slash progress bar dot css yeah now the styles have started applying now what else now the next we can take the wrapper where we have applied wrapper class over here right why we have applied it to give it a, a flex direction column as you have seen the layout it's uh, everything is aligned in a column so this is the css for it display flex justify content center a little gap and the flex direction column 
Now next we have bars. Almost similar CSS to arrange the bars. Now let's have CSS for bar. So initially it will look like a simple uh, background gray and height of 8 pixel. Let's see if we can see it. So initially it will look something like this. Let's have bar inner. So for this let's write the CSS. What we are going to give it a color of green height let's say 8 pixel or we can say 100%. Now what else? Initially we are going to give it a scale x0 so that it's not visible okay then we want to give it like transform origin from left then we are going to use transition and transition duration so we have one constraint and then constraint was that each of these bar should finish in two seconds so we can add 200 ms now we have another that is transition property on which we have to apply transition it is transform now transition timing function that will be linear cool now we have to add one more css what if we are going to give it one so it will look something like this by default it's working right but we have to make it work only when we are clicking on this add so for that first of all Let's quickly add one state that is progress comma set uh, set progress equals to use state and by default it will be false. Okay, something like this. Now inside the use effect, what we can do use effect runs on render, right? We know. So uh, whenever it's going to render, we simply need to do set progress as true cool now now we are going to use some dynamic classes like uh, something like this uh, what is the syntax i think yeah cool so now what we can do we can simply check progress okay and then we can have bar hyphen inner hyphen field or else this something like this now let's quickly copy it and let's add it over here and sim oh sorry simply give it scale uh, sorry transform scale x and one something like this let's see if it's working or not cool so as you can see we have done nothing fancy over here we have simply uh, like uh, for every render we are going to make this set progress um, we all know that we are uh, rendering this component different component is getting rendered uh, inside this loop so every time this set progress will get true we will get a true value over here and this CSS class will get applied like this so friends uh, I hope this video helped you to brush your react skill and before going I have a small announcement. So friends, if you want to connect one on one with me for like any mock interview or any like uh, tips, uh, you can simply connect with me over this particular link. And now if you have really liked this video by heart, then don't forget to like and subscribe and do let me know in the comment section that on which topic you want the next video. So see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye. Take care.